descending, ascending. Descending. Sixty nine holes. Today's January sixteenth, twenty twenty two, five oh nine PM. At 70 to JFK, there's three eights that are shown on the building itself. Three eights. And at 17th and JFK, when you take a $50 bill and fold it, it has a very similar style where it has rectangular windows, it's rounded on the edge, and it has this little bump out right here that comes down like that. So it's rounded on the edge, it has these green rectangular windows, and it has this bump out right here. Green, rectangular, the color of money, green, rectangular windows. When you have them both together, you'll have a five down here, a fifty and five. Five, 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 like 5.55 a.m. in the morning. And it's green, just like money. It's a bank, Chase Bank. The only thing is... This building is intact, and this building has an explosion up at the third floor, between the second and the third floor, which would be in this area here, because technically, if this is the second and that's the third, because the first is down here, then the first, bit, first floor down here, the second and the third at 17th and JFK, which happens to be at the Xfinity Comcast Center, right here, where water seems to sprout up out of nowhere on July 8, 2020, and then it stops at 8.48 a.m. on October 21st, 2020, when I went down there specifically because I thought a bombing would go off. At eight years. That's what's been told recently in some of the meetings there. You've got eight years to prepare. Eight years. Steve Benoon has 380. 380,000 subscribers. Three eights. Three eight. Eight eight eight. You got the Holy Son of God. You got the. Henry Latin for Lord Christ. You got the you got Lord Christ the second coming. But you also have Jonathan Cleck in there. So the way I see it is when something is written out uh plain as day, like like that, it's usually leaning towards something else than what it's than what's being said there. But this is a holy double eight terrorist strike. Eight 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 seventeen JFK has three eights on that building, and it is sixteen twenty eight, which is the the address that's there. Sixteen twenty eight. In the wink of an eye, things will change. The seventh day rest is when the work stops. The work 
because of a deadly wound of the financial system of the banking system. I don't know. Austin is written in there a lot. I thought Stephen James and Sean was written in uh, Gematria a lot, but so is so is Austin. Johnny Paycheck. This is Yahweh. 1628. Wacko Jacko. Walmart. Sideways 8. So everything's pointing to this building for some reason. Sideways 8. Double 8. Sixteen twenty eight chasing the money seventeenth street Liberty One is right there when I was there on seven eight twenty twenty some guy in some white apparel was up there on the on the uh looking out right before eight forty eight a m in the morning. I didn't record it. I wish I did. I just thought it was a, at first I wasn't thinking it was Johnny hanging out there. I just thought it was a window cleaner on 7-8-2020. And, uh, and then what happened was instead of, instead of the bombing itself, but that, that would have turned Just on. turned on now, obviously. I constantly go back to this because... July 8th, 2020, 17th of JFK, 8.48 a.m. As you can see, the water just turned on right now, a minute and a half into the video. And a minute prior to that, I told you what time it is. 45 a.m. July 8th, 2020. There's that building that to me, it looks like on the back of a $50 bill. We're on the third floor. There's a bombing. And then within a minute, a minute later, which is 8.46 a.m. For the first time all year, Woodard turned on out of nowhere out of the 69 holes in this holy place, this dry desert ground that streams of water just sprouted up out of nowhere. It's like striking the rock uh, because this is solid concrete. What's the definition of a rock? The solid mineral material forming part of the surface of the earth and other similar plants exposed on the surface of underlying the soil, oceans. The beds of rock are slightly tilted. A large piece of rock which has become detached from a cliff or mountain or a boulder Gray cliff tour crop outcropping similar boulder stone. So out of when you strike this stone, the stone concrete, it was dry beforehand, kind of like a desert. Then all of a sudden water sprouted up out of nowhere on July 8, 2020. At 846 AM. So then when you look up these numbers, 846. The recent one on, on May 25th, 2020, George Floyd was kneeled upon, as it was said, according to the statement, 8 minutes and 46 seconds. At 46 a.m. in New York on September 11, 2001, the first airplane hit the World Trade Center North Tower. So what I do is I'll take the numbers and because this book of Gematria is the dragon's way of communicating, the first thing is the living God. And the rest, the Holy Ghost, not everything, you know, the morning, bright morning star, not everything is going to be connecting to anything. But I just take what pertains to the experience and then october 21st 2021 went down there one more time okay here we go 
The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This came. That's 15 minutes, 18 minutes and 52 seconds in as I'm showing you that. And then I'm letting you, two minutes later, I'm showing you that it's 846. Gave that to me. He sent me to Camping World this morning to show me what you're about to see. So two minutes later. I'm walking up. The water's flowing just fine. It wasn't back on 7 8 2020. It flowed for the first time. But then I'm just making sure that I show you that it's 8 47 a.m. And the water's still flowing. But you can also see it's starting to starting to go down a little bit. And Click had something to show me on that day. And as you look at the timeline, the exact time is 8.48 a.m. October 21st. Twenty twenty, the exact time. Jonathan Click needed to show me something at eight forty-eight a.m. And that very day, the morning he was showing on his video, Barack Obama, the speech where he said, eight forty-eight. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. So at eight forty-eight a.m. And at 8.48 a.m., the water streams uh, stood still, and then they rose back up again. And that's exactly what Jonathan Click needed to show me at that exact moment. And on top of that, Barack Obama came to Philly on that exact day. As you see here, former President Barack Obama speaks in Philly for Biden-Harris. 10 21 2020 so that same exact day out front of lincoln financial field these aren't republican or democratic principles they're american principles they're what we're they're what we most of us grew up learning from our parents and our grandparents 303 30 and everything that Barack Obama said on that exact day, I took the clips of what I heard as I was listening clearly. I want to thank Mr. Philadelphia for these. Listen, my first job was in a bass in Rob. We see him operating every single day. We see him in neighborhoods. And by the way, while he's doing all that, it distracts all of us from the truly destructive actions that his appointees are doing all across the government. Actions that affect your lives. They cut the event short. Or I want to thank Miss. So when you look up 848 in the Gematria dragon language, it says, Your death, Jonathan. So on that very day, October 21st, 2020, which is Harold Camping's world, because Harold Camping said that the world would end on October 21st, 2011. And the world opposed to the earth is a different story. But at 8.48 a.m., that took place. And Jonathan Kleck 
He just wanted to let you know So he's giving you a little teaser right now. And at 8.48 a.m., it looks like it was the death of Jonathan Click at 8.88, 17th and JFK, John F. Kennedy Boulevard, Jonathan Fargo Click Boulevard, ascending, descending on Jacob's Ladder with this video, 69 holes, Crucified between the sixth and the ninth hour, the water sprouted up uh, on July eighth, twenty twenty, at eight forty six a.m., which is between the sixth and ninth hour. And this time, it stood still between the sixth and the ninth hour, ninth hour, which is eight forty eight a.m. And this is the building that has three eights on it. It's 1628, wounded head. It purposely, purposely has three eights, two of them on the corner. Just to show you that it's a building that has three eights. And again, you look up Gematria, you look up three eights, and you'll see Jonathan Kleck's name. And that's why I was there because of the information I was getting specifically from the channel called the Jonathan Click channel. So if Jonathan Click was just getting started on that day and Steve Fletcher 222 and 222 and this was 222 if that's the ending of the beginning to start, well, that's, that would be exactly 70 literal weeks of Daniel. So with this ladder representing Jacob's ladder, this building representing Jonathan Cleck, 888 the second coming of Christ. Liberty 1, 950 feet tall. Liberty 2 is 848 feet tall. Liberty 2, 848 feet tall. Among the multiple structures that make up the Liberty Place complex, 2 Liberty Place is the second tallest, rising 848 feet and 58 stories, yet it is the largest by area, with 1.2 million square feet. And then, how many stories tall is Liberty 1? The building has 94 stories, with the top floor numbered 104. The new World Trade Center complex will eventually include five high-rise office buildings built along Greenwich Street, as well as the National September 11th Memorial and Museum, no, no, located I, just I, I, south of One World Trade Center up. where the original... Quiet, I wasn't talking about... She... I was, I'm asking Liberty One. Alright. So Liberty One, please. It's kind of funny how I said Liberty One and it went straight to the 9-11 uh, New York building. But this is 61 stories, 61 stories skyscraper. So the Ian Bud Light commercial with the code, I mean, uh, the time, 12-11. When, when Ian was going to this party and he's, everybody's uh, gang stalkers, and he's the only one that's not. He's an act, or everybody else is actors. And he goes to a twin system party. Here's the twin. <laughs> because every everybody that's twin is twin, twin male, turned into female because they both one of them did the the Eve serpent, the other one did the Adam uh, transformation. My mind is blown. <laughs> Christ, 14. <laughs> They're on their way down. They appear to be crushed in 
tiny penis. In other words, your testicles being crushed. Prepare for that. And so when he or when uh everybody's a an actor. An actor. He has no idea what's going to happen next. I think I could do that. All right, he's in a limo, Reggie. <laughs> What's your name? Ian Rappaport. Ian, Ian Rappaport. Ian. Oh. Great. Yeah, right. pulling up. Rebecca, can you hear me? I hope I don't mess it up. Hey. Hey. So when he comes in with the llama, the sacrifice, uh, which is in all likelihood the male reproductive system, which is the sacrifice sewed onto a human. Three is root three, which is right there at Market Street. And John F. Kennedy Boulevard, Route 3, which goes one way. And then Market Street, Route 3, which goes the other way towards the William Penn Building, 17th Street. So he's coming into the Good evening. elevator. Hello, Lily. Hey! There. <laughs> Come on, it's Lily. It's Lily. Hey, Don. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Are we wearing the same coat? Yeah, nice, hey. Jeff. Stand by. Hey, Open the door. So as you see here, the 58th floor, it's uh, 54. There's nobody there. 59th floor, L. Eve, L Eve, C, which is three, and then this this thing here, looking like what it looks like. Door, 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 door. door. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that's Howard Stern. That's uh, I mean I don't know. It's just is that not Howard Stern right there? Like, is that not you, Howard? He's alone. I remember Alex that drew the picture of, of Jonathan Gleck with the sheep. The Liberty, Liberty 2 only has 58 floors. But the 59th floor, I would just assume that that would be the, the floor that nobody goes to except for the, the ones that, you know, like a private party or something. So Liberty 2 has 58 floors. And it looks like that would be the what you see on the 58th floor. Must be nice. Must be nice. It will be nice. So my question is, is the party on the 59th floor of the Liberty 2 building, which is 848 feet tall, or is it on the, or is that Liberty 1 where it's 61 stories tall? It is the 19th chief uh, starter, tallest building, 61 floors, which reminds me of the year of the Lord's favor. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart to proclaim liberty to captives, captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. So it looks like maybe, just maybe, the party that Ian is at is the 59th floor over there on Liberty 2. 
and then Liberty One would be where this already happened. Somebody already read that verse and in front of people that they know that he uh, represents the Christ on earth and he would be the Pope. Not the actual Pope per se, but whoever's behind the mask of the Pope. Because all, everybody comes to the Pope for guidance. Because as a Jewish man, they heard that God is with him. Not surprised that they have a relationship with Iran because the money maker for them, but because of the aggressiveness of this relationship. What would be the money maker? Russia considered the money maker for Iran. YouTube is a money maker. I mean, I don't, I don't make the money, but I know it's a money maker. You get, you have a channel that, I mean, you get a million views. Like Tucker Carlson, I just seen a, I don't know if I took a screenshot to see if it's up yet. No, not yet. But what it said underneath of there was, because I had the video of uh, Steve Noon up there, and the very top little corner said, Hillary Clinton is coming. And he had 1.7 million views. So can you just imagine how much that is? YouTubers are rolling in money, but just how rich can our favorite e-celebs get off their videos and ever-expanding sub counts? The real numbers are sure to shock you. That's why average year the main Mr. Beast channel makes $13,860,000, and honestly, that's still a pretty conservative estimate. That's more than $160 every single minute. Talk about making money from your dreams. PewDiePie the undeniable king of gamers and YouTube, Felix Shelberg is leaps and bounds the most subscribed to YouTuber on the planet. With the incredibly long-lasting dynasty PewDiePie's built, it's no surprise that being the only person to ever gain more than 100 million subscribers is a very lucrative spot to be in. to change. Russia, of course, is more and more allying with China, but this, this relationship between Russia and Iran is really taking uh, the United States by surprise. Not surprised that they have a relationship with Iran because the money maker for them, but... So it's if you look at it as the U-2 tube two second temple the u2 tube temple being built by i think it was from king herod built it so between king uh herod and and Pilate. so the second temple the second holy house also known in its later years as Herod's Temple, was the reconstructed major renovation of the Second Temple by Herod, the major turn of the Second Temple by Herod the Great, 20 BC, after, so 20 years before Christ, and after 18 years as King of Jews in Jerusalem, Herod, 53 years, felt the need to complete renovation. So 20 BC, like 20 years in the making. Then you have on 70 AD, August 4th, the Romans punished the rebellious Jews by destroying the second temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem in 66 AD the Jews had rebelled against Roman rule and four years later the Romans retook Jerusalem which takes me to is I want to talk just for a second I wrote this out 
And it's very close to my heart because I was down there and I watched our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down the World Trade Center, right after it came down. And that he didn't mistakenly say that. But at some point, uh, the way things are mirror image, the way everything is backwards. But right now it's 7-11 p.m. And it's 1-1-6-2-22, January 16th. 2022 tomorrow would be january 17th 2022 which would be 7 11 backwards and if you look at the pet goat too you know you get the, the pecker up here which resembles this and the shooting And this guy has a leg taken out. Two strikes, double X system, two X. Eve, uh, evil, love, backwards. See this owl up here with the two eyes at the top and then this opening with the two lines right there. See this owl with the two eyes at the top and this, this lines right there now pecker three so obviously you fooled him once george bush being the first one then you got Barack Obama coming in because he he graduates. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And then Trump and then Biden. Biden representing the puppet president. Evil. But love backwards. House on fire. Just wondering, is it the William Penn building house on fire? But there's three hearts, which is the love. And the winner, it is in winter. So, I mean, I'm not making any second 9-11 predictions anymore. Because I've made over 100 of them. Saying that it'll happen to Philadelphia, the Liberty One, Liberty Two, 17th and JFK, Penn Center Building. I'm not predicting that anymore. Not saying anything's going to happen. Just saying tomorrow would be 7 Eleven backwards. It is snowing here in Philadelphia. Right now it's snowing. Tomorrow, snow, rain. Either way, what it does is it, it prevents a bunch of people from showing up at work that day so there's the graduation when obama would be in charge i remember jonathan Clegg had that stigma underneath of his eye at one point <laughs> obviously that's what the threat is to getting that chopped off Thank God there were there were six witnesses uh, when it happened, and um, I documented it as it happened. The witnesses that were there nine, with me, nine, we got nine. out our cell phones, and Jesus said there'll be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. There'll be wonders in the heavens, nine, nine, and I'm going to show you there was certainly a wonder in the heaven that we documented. We in the end, everything secret will be made public, and that's what He purposed me for. That's why my name Jonathan means Yahweh has given. That's what Jonathan means. And then Clegg means a messenger that rings the bell, gathers the church. So um, yeah, what happened here at this, the Ark this weekend is nothing short of a biblical Jonathan book. Means... It's mind destroying. And uh, we documented it. And since I'm going to share it with you guys and y'all are 
y'all are going to be so encouraged. You're going to just be like, you're going to, a lot of people will probably break down and just start crying because you'll know how true it is that God is in control and that God is, he is manifesting his presence so we can go into this future time that's so uncertain for the entire world, the entire reality of the system. And don't worry, I'll explain all that during the video that I do. And that he would show up. And I told the, the, the people that were going with me that I was going to show them something at the ark that they would not believe. And there's that it would almost be impossible for them to believe yeah. what I was going to share there's with also them. An ark. And this is what I told them. I said, this might be impossible for you to believe. Right but the Lord told me just to step out on faith. He will show up. He will show up C3. to prove it's true. Boy, did he show up. <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, we were jumping around with our hands in the air, looking up at the heavens going, oh my God, talk about. Boy, did he show up. It's just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, we were jumping around with our hands in the air, looking up at the heavens, going, oh my God, talk about the Lord showing up. And uh, and just to let me know that the mission that I'm on to resolve the, the riddle of ages, like he told me a long time ago, Jonathan, I'm going to use you to solve the riddle of ages. And I So the riddle of ages is solved. I know who we are. Obviously, where we come from, I understand the system, what the system's all about. I know what the human host body system is for, used for. It's a transmutation device in, in order to convert and transmute an angel through the host body system into a locust from the pit that will break out of the pit, come out and try and make war against the Most High. That's the system. A locust can also be translated as son of man uh, in a literal sense. A locust from the pit, this is the pit, and as the male, female, keeping the spark, impregnating itself, like parthenogenesis, and having a child, which would be a locust, from the pit. So it's like the sons of the fathers are coming out to make war. That's what the host body is, and a lot of people, you know, have a their own opinion. I don't care about anyone's opinion. The data and and what the Lord's revealed is not arguable. I'll say, and what the Lord's revealed is not arguable. I'll say it every time the Vatican's a damn snake. And you're speaking with the guy that the Lord showed that to. That snake. I was also raised in a Catholic family and the Catholics are the one that's that meet in a snake and up and see the stars and stuff. And so it was just phenomenal. Do y'all remember this, the uh, testimony I gave you about when the Lord told me, hey, I want you to go to the alley in the morning. I will show you, I'll meet you there, and I'll show you that everything that everything that you put in the shipping container was correct. Do y'all remember that testimony? And I went down to the alley, and I was sitting there, and it was crickets, and I was just like, okay, maybe I've lost my mind or something, because you told, I heard you tell me you would show up, and you would confirmed that everything that you showed me was was correct and there I was sitting in the alley in my truck just like doo, 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 doo. And, and I didn't hear anything from the Lord nothing I didn't get any buzz no no manifestation of the spirit and so I was I was pretty bummed out so I left the alley and I started driving down Broadway as you those of y'all that know the story uh, it's not a story it's a testimony I, the bible says you are my witnesses declares the lord that i am he there is no other i am god el the almighty god there is no other and so as i drove down broadway because i was i was upset that the lord wasn't there in the alley and i knew that was going to rock my faith because i knew i heard him say it while i was driving down broadway and i was going to take a left and get on Josephine Street and get on Highway 281 and head back towards my part of town. And as I was initiating the turn, I just turned right back on Broadway. So I was getting ready to initiate the turn, and then I just went straight. I'm like, oh, that's weird. It was Sunday Sunday morning early. There was no traffic on the road. 
So I thought, well, maybe I'll just drive down Broadway instead, which was a longer, much longer drive. Um, but there was no traffic. So in my mind, uh, I thought, well, I guess I'm just going to drive down Broadway. And as I drove down Broadway, I got right in front of Incarnate Word. Incarnate means in the flesh. Incarnate Word. And there, were, it looked like there was a bird that was smushed on the street with his wings sticking up like this. And as I approached that that bird in my, my truck, it's I was looking at it there. going, oh, wow, it looks like that bird got crushed. And as I got closer and closer, I saw it was a book. It was like pages sticking up in the air. It wasn't bird wings sticking up in the air. It was pages. And I heard the Lord say, go back and get the book. And that's when I, <laughs> I drove over it. And I looked in the rearview mirror, and I heard the Lord say, go get the book. And I said, well, if there's nothing in it, I'm going to freak out. I was down at the alley. I thought you would go back and get the book. And I said, Lord, if there's nothing in it, I am going to lose it. I mean, I'm going to freak out. Go back and get the book. And so I made a U-turn. I documented it. I got out my camera. I videotaped it. I was like, the Lord told me to go back and get this book. And I went out, and there, there was a little pamphlet. It said, the tomb is empty on the pamphlet. It was a Bible track. It was this little teeny book about that big. It's a little pamphlet. It's called a Bible track. And it said the tomb is empty. That was Sunday morning at approximately 8.30 or so. And um, I opened up that little pamphlet. And in that pamphlet, it showed the judgment seat of Christ. It had Romans uh, 6, I believe, which is a scripture that's cut through metal in the shipping container. Literally laser cut in the shipping container. The free gift of God is eternal life. The wages of sin is death. The free gift of God is eternal life. I believe it's Romans 6. And I, I laser cut that, put it on the wall in the shipping container. I had the judgment seat in there, which is what he told me to do because I'm I'm letting everybody know, like Noah, God's coming to judge the world now, guaranteed. Absolutely. It would look like it was way deep in there, which it did. And it was empty. There's nothing in it. So anyway, so when you're going down to an alley to where you got saved to meet with the Lord in spirit where he told you to go, that he would convey to you everything that you did in the shipping container, which represents the judgment seat of Christ, that he's coming to judge the world. And this is the way he would communicate it. <clears throat> when all those images that I did on the wall are actually in a little pamphlet that says the tomb is empty, and that's the number one thing in that shipping container is an empty tomb, you know the, God, the Lord God's speaking to you. No doubt about it. <laughs> That's what the cover said. The tomb is empty. Romans 6 was in there. The judgment seat of Christ was in there. There were, In that pamphlet, it proved that the shipping container was done according to what he told me to do. Well, that was Sunday morning. Monday morning, I went over to my P.O. box. Monday morning, because it's closed on Sunday. Uh, so today's Sunday... January 16th, 2022. Tomorrow's Monday, January 17th, 2022. And at some point, Trump is going to be there at 7 11, whether it's backwards, uh, 11 November, 7 11, July 11th, November 7th, or January 17th. And Monday, and they also don't deliver mail on Sunday. Monday morning when I opened my P.O. box, I pulled out some envelopes. And inside one of them was the identical Bible track as was sitting in the middle of the street. Now, both those little books are in that shipping container as a miracle to document that in the this is the how the Lord conveyed the message to me. Okay, now that I spit all that out. What you're going to see in the, the manifestation of... The Lord God showing up to a servant to let him know I'm coming and who we are, you're going to know. You're not going to think you know. You're going to know. It's in the middle of the You're going to know that you know that you know. He knows go to know absolutely. You'll know absolutely the king's coming. You'll know absolutely that this world's coming to an end. You'll know absolutely that the Lord showed up at the ark to convey the message. And when I said showed up, he showed up in the heavens to let me know right, I'm not literally I'm confirming that everything you said is absolutely correct. 
And so I'm going to share that with you. Dave and I are working on it. We're, I'm here at the Ark, and Dave and I are trying to take all the little video clips and all the photos because we were all, ah, just try. I have absolutely zero doubt. If I ever had any reservation whether or not I was going to see the second coming of Christ. Second? Like the second 9-11? Uh, it's gone now, for sure. Okay. Yeah. But the problem is, I've heard this so many times before, and I predicted it second 9-11 a gazillion times. But from the first 9-11 and tomorrow would be 244 months and six days. Not that I'm saying that there's going to be a 9-11 or anything, just pointing out the dates, because I'm not going to make a any more second 9-11 predictions through the titles, uh, new fresh uploads. I watch our police and our firemen down in 7-Eleven, down at the World Trade Center, right after it came down. 7-Eleven. Christ's second coming. Hillary Rodham. Hillary, huh? Hillary. Hillary Clinton. The luck of the Irish. Billy Jean, not my lover. Manifestation of God. Just wondering why Trump said 7 Eleven instead of 9 Eleven. I guess just expect miracles. Also, the son of perdition. Second 9-11. Christ evidence. Trust the process. You're the son of the creator. The holy mountain, the angel of the bottomless pit. Nine eleven is actually typed in there is Ray's birth, and then when you look at eight 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 over in Gematria, it comes out to Jonathan Click. Regal left hand of the triple eight. Again, 17th JFK has three eights on the building, triple eights. Could be a sudden rapture that takes place. That's what the first 9 11. Pride of the end of days. Archons rule no longer. Raptured in Christ. There's the true rapture. If anybody's waiting to escape, load up, it, it's not the way it works. I, I got caught up in it back in 2011. I thought we would like disappear or something, but not the case. The President Biden, you know, the one under the mask, has pushed Russia into desperate measures that could be catastrophic for the U.S. and even Israel. As you look in Philadelphia, where you got these two twin towers, the very first flag, is Israel. Along with you two, you two, you two. Man, it, those eyes look familiar. It looks like I've seen those eyes before. Even the face is similar, close to 
somebody because I just looked at looking at um looking at Steve Anoon's feature channels. You got the Bear Forty Nine. I don't know, I've never seen this guy before, but looks familiar. Especially right there. I'm gonna show you guys something in this might be shocking. So please don't judge me. Are you ready? I don't know. Firemen were even had looks of terror on their faces. But uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is uh, Brother Scotty Clark. Scotty's back.